creative, amazing science with Sunana. I believe and I hope that you are doing great. So am I. I still remember those winter months and there was a fair which was organized by one of the NGO and which was just beside our house. So me and my brother forced my father that we want to go and visit that place. So my father said, okay, fine, we are going to go there. So we three went to the uh, like uh, fair and we just were going and watching each and every stall what is available and what we can buy. Me and my brother were very fascinated about those toy cars and all. So we just entered one of the stall and after entering, we just eyed one red car and it was looking lovely. So me and my brother, what happened? Like we were about to push it. We thought that that car is going to run manually. By then, the owner of the stall came and he said, okay, just hold on, children. So he put the uh, batteries inside the car and he just switched it on. It was a tremendous view, I would say, lovely. And after that, we just forced our father that we have to buy that. And finally, we bought the car and we return back and my brother is very naughty so he always buys those cars and all and after two to three days he is going to break it for sure so i was elder to him so i just said my father because i was just learning physics and all this related uh, batteries how to connect i was just learning so i said my father why can't we make such cars at home because he is like breaking all the cars within two to three days. So let us try making those. So my father said, okay, fine, but we need to have the base. So we were having an old toy car and the base was there. So we took that base and my father taught me how to make that car using the batteries and the motor. And it was super exciting to do something new and that too, to do it by yourself. So today I'm here to share that experience and that activity with everyone. Are you ready? Let's get started. So the things required are, I've taken an on off switch. This is a DC motor of three volts and already the wires are attached. You can see the wires are already attached to it. Then batteries along with the battery holder. A rubber band these are the two pulleys which I have taken, some wires, this is the wheel along with the axle, I was having a toy so I have taken this and these are the grips where you can attach to the wheel. This is very optional, if you have you can use them, if you don't have not to worry at all. Then you have the adhesive tape. This is a paper box. You can take any paper box. I was having this. So I've just put the craft paper on top of it so that it looks little good. And of course a pair of scissors. So what I'm going to do is, first I'll take this self adhesive tape. I'm going to put this at this end and take this DC motor and I'm going to fix it like this. Okay. Okay, can you see I fixed my DC motor? Then I'm going to take the switch and I'm going to do the same thing. I'll keep this here. I'll take this switch and fix it like this. See, I fixed my switch and you can keep this on off towards the outer side because it becomes easy for you to access it. Okay, 
then I am going to take some more of my adhesive tape then I will fix this here on the top I will take my batteries along with the battery holder and I am going to fix it like this okay if you observe carefully, you can see I have placed my batteries along with the battery holder, the on-off switch is here and the DC motor is here. So what I'm going to do next is, you can see two wires which is attached to the DC motor. This is the negative one and the red one is the positive one. So we'll take the positive wire and put it to one of the holes of the electric switch and we are going to twist it around okay so now i have attached or connected this wire to one corner of the electric switch then i'm going to take another wire this is the positive terminal i'm going to attach it to the positive terminal of the battery so this wires one end is connected to the positive terminal of the battery and the other end i'm going to connect it to this hole of the on off switch and i'm going to twist it And the remaining, this black wire, which is the negative end, I'm going to put it to the negative end or the negative terminal of the battery. And twist it around. So now I have done all the connections but let me check whether my connections are proper or not. So I just have to switch it on. Okay, so you could hear the sound that means my connections are all set and it is correct. So next what I am going to do is. I'll take this compass and I'll try to make the holes at the basement of this box. So I'll just take this with the help of the pointer I'll make the hole. You have to be very careful when you're making a hole so that you don't hurt your fingers. Okay. You can see I have made two holes and I'm going to do the same at this end also. Okay, so I've made similar holes at this end also. Then what I'm going to do is I'll take this wheel along with the axle. Okay, so I'm going to put this from this hole and try to bring this out from the other side. Okay, okay. you can see my pointer and I'll fix this. So I'm done with one part. Then I'm going to fix this one to the front part. But... When you are fixing this, we have to use this pulley. First, we will just insert it. Okay. We will just open this paper packet so that it becomes easy for us to insert. Okay, I have inserted. But before bringing this rod from the other end, we have to take this pulley, it's sort of a button and you have to put it in, mid, in the middle of this rod 
okay so try to keep that at the center and then you have to push it so that it comes out from the other end okay i'll show you okay if you observe see i have kept that pulley at the center and from this end the iron rod has come out then i'm going to close this okay then i'm going to put this wheel back in position okay. so now i'm done so my next step is i'll take the help of the compass and i'm going to make a hole just below the dc motor you can see the dc motor and you can see the pointers are out just below that i'm going to make a hole and again you have to be very careful i'll show you after i do it okay i'm done if you observe this carefully here is the hole okay just near the dc motor here is the hole okay so i'm going to take this small pulley and i'm going to fix it at one end of this dc motor see how i fix the small pulley over here okay so i'm going to take this rubber band now and i'm going to put it on top of the pulley like this and this down part i'm going to put it inside the hole so again i can take the help of the compass so that it gets inside yes so now the down part of the rubber band has got inside the hole but i need to pull it from down so i need to open this paper packet like this and i'll show you how okay it has come out so i'll just insert it once again because the rubber band is little small okay you can see how the rubber band is looking it is down and i have pulled it more i'm stretching it so you have to just keep it like that okay then okay so we will just open one wheel and axle from one corner we'll bring this here and the rubber band we are going to i'll show you how i'm going to do it okay i'll show you once i fix it properly okay. i'll show you a closure view see okay see on top there's a pulley which is attached to the dc motor and with the help of the rubber band i have inserted the rubber band through the hole and down and down you can see another pulley is there and the rubber band i have attached it and now i'll just close this okay and this end i'm going to fix the wheel see now it's done so now let us just check whether all my connections are proper whether the wheels are proper is it moving or not let us just check i'll just switch it on okay so my connections are perfect and my wheels are moving but let us make this vehicle drive on the path so i'll just keep these things aside so that it becomes easy for me to show you how my vehicle is moving 
okay first i'll show you without these groups i'll keep this aside <clears throat> i'll remove this sheet also okay i've just kept my vehicle here and let us just observe how it is working okay can you see how it's moving okay i'll do a side view okay from here this side also i'm going to show you So now we can see how our vehicle was moving. If you enjoyed the experiment, do like it and do not forget to subscribe by pressing the bell icon which is right there on your screen. And if you wish to share your experience with everyone, do put it in the comment section or do write a mail so that in my next upcoming videos, I can share your experience through an experiment. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.